All right, I've had some time to install the Chinese fonts now. So you can see some of these widgets recognize the new language. For example, this search is now says search in Chinese. In fact, in the, in the few minutes, I have had time to learn some Chinese. And I know that this says a uh, switch locale in Chinese. I'm going to go back to English. Uh, just before I had the problem before, I was talking about theming as a way to move from lowest end to highest end desktops. And on the lowest end, you might consider, for example, an old phone that only supports J2ME and so has to have a J2ME limited language, limited memory version of, of Midas running. So for that, you might even pick a simpler, simpler theme than what we have here. I'm going to go back to the one that I thought looked a little better. <coughs> You have to excuse my voice, too, because I don't have a microphone. I'm actually yelling into my earphone, earphones. I hope you can hear it. Uh, we're pointing off some little widgets. Right the clock shows we can draw circles and, and interesting things like that. Uh, here's one everyone recognizes. All right, everyone likes to play some games. At the bottom, this, this search bar can be branded, of course, and I'm going to search up the term of the day, which is widget. All right, I'm going to spell it correctly. Right, this uh, it shows a little bit. We're also integrated with the browser that can be full screen or or a browser can be a, a minor component of the screen. Here we've just gone to the, the Google search for widgets, Apple, Yahoo. Everyone seems to has, have their widget strategy going. Um, another issue I wanted to point out was the um, sort of developer tools we have available here. All right, I'm going to start a different emulator later to show off the developer tools. Now I want to show off sort of the download capability because the idea, I'm showing you now these, these widgets are all in there. But a widget is really a standalone thing with appropriate security models so we can turn things on and turn things off. I'm going to go ahead and jump and see what widgets anyone has uploaded for this demo. Um, I, I like the smart radio as an example because that's going to you know, be able to show off playing some music on my phone. Give it a moment to download. Doop, 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 doop. And that's completed. So I go back to my main screen and we'll see that a, a new widget has been downloaded. This one unfortunately did not have an icon file, so we just have a generic icon. If I can go ahead and install that, it'll run in my little widget area. This is a phone screen app. Uh, it's playing Moby. I don't think I have any um, sound decoder on this emulator, but it's playing Moby. If I don't like Moby, I'll skip ahead and I'll play some other some other song. Pink Floyd, I like that. All right. I'm going to switch, as I said a moment ago, to another window that could show off some uh, debugging capabilities and also show why this isn't just a phone strategy. All right, I'll get back to you. <laughs> 